Nems Linux brings together a plethora of useful open source tools surrounding Nagios Core. Whether you've used Nagios Core before or not, well, I'll tell you right out the gate, it can be quite onerous to get it up and running the way that you want it. So one of the fundamental goals that I've had with NEMS Linux is to make it as easy for you to get up and running out of the box and save you a boatload of time and probably a boatload of money. Now one of the ways that I've done this is by creating a tool called NEMS Init or the NEMS Initialization Wizard. What this does is it automatically configures your entire deployment in just a few seconds. It generates self-signed certificates so that each and every NEMS Linux user has their very own unique certificate. It allows you to configure your time zone, it creates your Nagios administrator user, and it creates your Linux account. And it connects it all together so that you don't have to go through a bunch of configuration steps in order to get up and running. To initialize your NEMS Linux server, it's super easy. You just need a terminal session to your NEMS Linux server. If you bring up nems.local in your browser, you may see a link that says open a browser-based terminal session. If you see that, you're welcome to click on that and it will bring up cockpit and you can log in as nems admin with the password nems admin. That will take you directly into a terminal session where you can get started. I'm going to assume that you don't see that just to rule it out and I'm gonna bring up now I'm on Windows 10 here I'm gonna bring up command prompt and I'm gonna simply type SSH nems admin at nems dot local that's the same command you're gonna use on Linux or Mac doesn't matter what operating system you're on except Windows 7 you would need to have putty or something like that I'm gonna assume that you're up to date and using Windows 10 SSH nems admin at nems dot local and it's going to ask if I want to accept this secure connection and I say yes it permanently adds it and then I enter my password which at, at this point is the default nems admin and now I'm in my NEMS Linux server. It's not yet initialized, so I can't actually do anything with it. I'm going to type sudo NEMS init and enter my password again, NEMS admin. And here we go. It's going to ask us a quick questionnaire. First of all, choose your time zone. So I'm going to click on America. It defaults to Toronto. You might want to change that. Just hit enter and now it's configured okay by default I've enabled EN underscore US UTF-8 that's the locale setting for your keyboard that I've configured out of the box Oh, I keep scrolling past it there it is you can enable another locale if you like however I would suggest that you leave this one enabled as well you're welcome to have more than one locale add your own locale but leave the default so that you don't see error messages based on the fact that you would be missing the default locale during the setup procedure so I'm just gonna leave everything as is I've hit tab and I'm gonna hit enter and now it asks me what I would like my default locale to be so this is where you may have added your own locale as well I'm going to select EN US UTF-8 here we go so keep in mind all these things normally you would have to do manually. Here it is. This is where the magic really takes place. What would you like your NEMS username to be? Keep in mind this is the administrator user for your NEMS server. This user has access to root essentially. So be mindful that you want this to be a username and password combination that only you know and that if you're going to share it it needs to be only with people that you trust keep in mind this user can see and edit anything to do with your NEMS Linux server just like root normally would so just be mindful of that I'm gonna use my name Robbie F my password I'm just gonna enter my password in and it prompts me to enter it again what email address would I send should I send notifications to this is again a step that I normally would have to go into configuration files to set up nems at category5.tv boom 
It's added the password for Robbie F. It's created a group. It's created the home directory. It's copied my Scale files, which is essentially the open source GPL um, license information and anything else that I've included there. It's moved files from the default NEMS admin user to Robbie F and created that user. Then it initialized a Nagios user for Robbie F. It's generating my secure certificates right now and I haven't had to do anything. That process of creating a Nagios user, normally I'd have to go through each and every single tool that I've implemented, but I don't need to do that because NEMS init does it all for me. It's restarted the NEMS services, it's disabled the NEMS admin user, and now it says I need to log in as Robbie F. That NEMS admin user has been removed from sudo and can no longer log in. I'm going to exit and go back to https colon slash slash nems dot local and now it once again is prompting me for my security certificate because it's got a new one proceed to nems dot local and ladies and gentlemen we are in nems linux my user is now able to access all of the various features so if i click on a dogios for example i'm going to log in as robbie f enter my password and i'm in just like that. So all of these tools that are a part of the NEMS Linux system have now been initialized using NEMS init. Congratulations, your NEMS server is now online and you are ready to monitor everything. everything.